Hello you glorious toucans, Yan here with a quick update on what we've been working on with the Godot 4 action RPG project. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be looking at my exploration in Godot 4. We've had to do a fair bit of tweaking to the meshes to get it to work with the lighting engine. But Godot 4 Alpha 2 is currently out and I've been playing with it for about a week now. And I wanted to show you what we've got. So let me jump into it without waffling too much more. And a quick rundown of what to expect. Moving character, lighting and visual effects, including volumetric fog, better fog systems, the new SDFGI, which I always say wrong, uh, navigation baked at runtime, a simple NPC that will follow us around, uh, physics, and procedural uh, dungeon generations. Okay, let's get comfortable, make that bigger. Give it a second to generate, which is a six by six grid, and after about a second, it's gonna start baking the navigation, and then Bob the Skull here will start following us. It's pretty rudimentary right now. We've got basic physics working, so, you know, here's a table, here's a potion, and look at this pretty lighting. So here's our, our uh, starting room. The starting room at the moment is always the same. These little green lines around the room, that's the navigation mesh that's been baked. And we have some collision particles, which I quite enjoy. Look at this, we can actually affect the particles as we move through them. Uh, pushing fire as you walk through. You can also jump through it, of course. It's a nice little t uh, touch. Uh, these doors are mapped as obstacles, so Bob won't try and walk through them if they're closed. Um, we have a number of plain rooms and a few specialized rooms. It's all very simple right now. Uh, I quite like this little cauldron room. Uh, because of the volumetric fog and the new lighting system, the green light from the cauldron, which you can see if I get close enough, actually gives a little bit of green fog around it. But it's quite subtle, and I love the subtlety here. Let's see what's around here to the left. A pillar room, I'm gonna switch off a flashlight. Uh, pretty dark, nothing going on in here, but you know, gotta hold the ceiling up, it's very important. Here we are, a basic shop room. Uh, very basic, it's just an empty shop. Um, currently, this is still very much in alpha. Uh, it will crash, there are bugs. Um, one, for example, is the ambient light isn't currently working in the SDFGI, uh, the new lighting system. So there's no ambient light being showed. All the ambience you can see is actually the volumetric fog. Uh, another one is when we run this on Mikey's machines, which are Windows machines, this one's a Linux machine, um, we get issues with transparencies. Anything that has a transparency shows through walls. Not quite sure what's going on there, but it's probably uh, an issue in God of Four. We'll see how it works out. Oh, there's a chasm room. Let's go look at the chasm room. Whee! And if I fall down there, it'll just restart the level for me. Anything exciting down here? Apart from a lovely green volumetric fog in the distance. Uh, yeah, so basically this is it. This is what we have so far. A nice little maze to run around with a start room and end room, uh, randomly placed rare rooms. Looks like we've been here before. Um, some lighting, some collision. Navigation at runtime is, is huge, um, especially given how performant it is. Oh, we also have occlusion. Um, I can make this map up to 10 by 10. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Uh, it will take longer to load, so, you know, I will keep the video running so you can see how long it's running. Still hot code, not optimized, yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's just give that a, a few seconds while I look nervous. Creaky chair. This room's rather echoey today. It wasn't echoey this Oh, here we go. Okay, so here we are. This is now a 10 by 10 grid, so there are 100 cells in this map. And I'm still running at 60 frames a second. I'm not sure if the recording is showing at 60 frames a second, that's my OBS. Uh, and here's a, <laughs> here's a chasm immediately as I go through. So let's just reset that 10 by 10 grid. Uh, hello, lava. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Uh, I can actually start moving before the navigation comes in. It's not going to crash. And the moment it bakes, which will take a little bit longer. There we go. Bob can start following me. And this one is now safe. Great. So yeah, here we go. 60 frames a second because we have occlusion working. Uh, navigation working. It's ready to actually have some real work done to it. Now, because this is still an alpha, um, any work we do, we have to assume is going to get lost or crap, stop working with an update or something like that. Uh, we are very much enjoying working with it. Mikey, of course, has been working on LMMS and some of the Blender courses. Uh, we've got the, um, what do you call it? Uh, bah, bah, I forgot the word. Uh, concept art, that's the word. Uh, concept art course is being worked on, I believe. And here's a nice little temple room with some fun benches, which for some reason, every time he comes in here, Mikey tries to put them in the box. Um, I don't know why. I'm not sure he knows why. It's just some weird little mini game he's invented where you try and get the benches in the boxes. So here we go, just for Mikey. And here's my purple flames again. 
So yeah, a um, lot of fun to play with. I'm really looking forward to actually working on the course proper and, and getting it to you guys and seeing what you guys can make. But yeah, just I thought I'd give you a quick update. So thanks for watching and we'll speak to you real soon.